Today is Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 23rd, 2017. And it's a wonderful day to continue a practice that we should be doing every day, just giving thanks to God for He is good and His mercy endures forever. Thanksgiving holidays history in America is rooted in English traditions dating from the Protestant Reformation. And that according to uh, Baker, James Baker's book on Thanksgiving, the bi biography of American his holiday and and Godfrey Hodson's The Great and Godly Adventure of the Pilgrims and Myth of the First Thanksgiving. In historical context, special blessings viewed as coming from God call for days of thanksgiving. These acts were viewed as special providences. And so it was no wonder as President of the United States, George Washington proclaimed the first nationwide Thanksgiving celebration in America marked, marking November 26, 1789 as a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts the many and signal favors of Almighty God. And I don't intend for this to be a history lesson, but an opportunity to bless God with thanksgiving that flows both from intentional remembrance and a heart of gratitude. So I would like you to stop right now, just pause this video and call to remembrance acts that have happened in your life in 2017 that you would consider special blessings. Now, once you review them mentally, name them out loud with thanksgiving toward God. Tell God how thankful you are that his hand has been upon your life. And once you've done that, I'd like to read a portion of scripture that to me is one of the high blessings of thanks to God that David gave in 1 Chronicles 29, 10 through 20. And this was on the occasion of gathering all of the articles for the building of the temple. And this prayer is led by David. Verse 10, 1 Chronicles 29. Therefore David blessed the Lord before all the assembly, and David said, Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to offer so willingly as this? For all things come from you. And of your own, we have given you. For we are aliens and pilgrims before you, as were all our fathers. Our days on earth are as a shadow and without hope. O oh Lord, our God, all this abundance that we have prepared to build you a house for your holy name is from your hand and is all your own. I know also, my God, that you test the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. As for me and the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things, and now with joy I have seen your people who are present here to offer willingly to you. O oh Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, our fathers, keep this forever in the intent of the thoughts of the heart of your people, and fix their heart toward you, and give my son Solomon a loyal heart to keep your commandments and your testimonies and your statutes and to do all these things and to build the temple for which I've made provision. Then David said to all the assembly, now bless the Lord your God. So all the assembly blessed the Lord God of their fathers and bowed their heads and prostrated themselves before the Lord and the King. One final thought. Psalm 150, praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty firmament, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, 
Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God, we give you praise. Thank you for this great day where we set aside time specifically to say thank you, God, for you have been good to us. We give you praise today. Amen. Give thanks. It's the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you.